when building a web server with Express, it's often required to serve a combination of dynamic content and static files. Because Node is not a web browser, it is a server you need to inform which file to use. So to serve static files such as images, CSS files and JavaScript files, we use the Express static method. This is the built-in middleware function in Express. Middleware functions allows us to work with a request and response object and it also allows us to add many new functionality in the application when you make request. Now let's take a look at how to serve static files in Express application. So for example, let's say you have a folder here inside your application public and in this folder you have all the static files. For example, your CSS files, your JavaScript files and all the images. Now you want to use these static files in your application. You can just simply use a middleware function for that. So before this request up here, I'm going to use app.use. I'm going to call a method use because as I said earlier, use method used to call a middleware function. And inside the parenthesis, I'm going to call express dot static. So I'm going to call a method of express application. So I'm going to call here static method of express application. And here I'm going to specify the path where all the static files are located. So here in the single code, I'm going to say public. So using this statement, you tell the web server that use all the static files of this public folder. So this statement will serve static file within a public folder. If you want, you can change your folder name or use a multiple statement to serve a static file from multiple folders. For example, if I duplicate this statement, and if you want to serve static files from images folder, you can specify here images. If you want to serve from the files folder, you can specify here files and things like that. So using this statement, you tell the node application to use static files from these folders. So whenever you want to use the static files, you can specify a root path to that files. For example, if I just print here image tag, then I'm going to use here forward slash to use this image. Now suppose we have this image in this public folder. I can simply access this image using this forward slash. So when you use this middleware function, it serves the static file from a root directory. So you can simply access all your static files using forward slash or you can say from root directory. Now what about serving files that are not in the root directory? For example, in this root directory, I'm going to have a public folder. But inside this public folder, I have another folder called static. And inside this folder, I have this image. Then how do I serve this static file? In this case, we can create a virtual path prefix. So instead of this express static, I'm going to specify argument to this use method. Let me just get rid of this statement. And here, as a first argument, I'm going to specify this folder. Here, I'm going to specify comma and in the single quote, I'm going to specify forward slash public. And in this static method, I'm going to say static. So this use method will first take the root path and then take the file from where you want to serve the static files. Now the next problem comes in. What if you change the static folder name or the root folder name? In that case, you need to change the hard coded value as well. For example, if I change this public to something else, I want to change this code as well. To tackle this problem, we have path module. We already learned that how to use path module. So let's see how to use it. I'm going to just simply require path module up here. I'm going to say here constant path is equal to and require a path module. And just out of that, to use this path module, I'm going to simply create here a variable constant public path is equal to and call the path module and call a method resolve. We already learned that how to work with this resolve method. We call this resolve method and as a first argument, I'm going to call a property directory name. So this will return the current directory name of the project. You don't have to write hard coded value here. And inside it, I have a public folder. So I'm going to say here public like this. So this will just simply return the root path of this public folder. And I'm going to just call this public right here. So if you accidentally change the name of your application, the code still work completely fine. You can notice here, we use here virtual path prefix. So when you want to call any static file, you need to specify that virtual path. So here I'm going to simply say public like this. So whenever you want to call a static method using virtual path, you can simply specify the root folder and then specify the file name. Oops, I included two path modules. Let me just get rid of one of them. 
So now this is how you can simply serve a static files in Express. We will take a look at how to use these files when we start working on template. So when we start working on template engine, I will show you how you can use these static files in your Express application. Next, we're going to understand how to work with routing in Express.